Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Kiki. This is KMB Cooking. We are going to be eating and cooking. I have great food, good combo, and um, did I mention great food? KMB, that's me. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Kiki. KMB, that's me. And today, we are having homemade mini chicken pot pies. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so today we are going to make some chicken pot pies or little mini chicken pot pies. I have a pack of chicken breasts here that I got from Sam's Club. This pack of chicken breasts was $20. I'm not going to cook the whole thing. I'm only going to cook a couple pieces. But if you are looking for a large quantity or if you're feeding a large family, Sam's Club is the place to go to get your meats because that's where we shop. We're a family of six. I always say that. Anyway, I'm going to chop these up. And nice little chunks. I'm going to go ahead and open up the pack. And I'm going to get a couple out. I'll probably take about maybe three or four out. Like that there. And then I'm going to, of course, wash them. You want to get all of the little fat off of here. Cut that off like that. And I actually saved these for scrap. You guys know that if you're new, scrap is my dog. And yes, he loves to eat him some chicken. Anyway, so you just want to get it and cut it. And they don't have to be perfect. You can just slice it going across just like this. And then I'm going to go back over it and get some of the fat pieces that I missed. But you just want to cut it in some chunks. Nice chunks. So that they can cook. That way they don't cook too fast. And they cook pretty even. Alright, and I'm going to do the other two and I'll be back. Alright guys. Tell me you shop at Sam's without telling me you shop at Sam's. So I got some black pepper, garlic powder, basil. I got a little Nord chicken bouillon seasoning. I love this. I live by this. A little salt, onion powder, onion powder, roasted garlic, and some Cajun seasoning. And I've already diced up the chicken. I got the chicken over here already ready to go. Pot heating up, so I'm going to go ahead and get that processed for you guys. All right, and then I just got a stick of butter that I'm gonna add in here. Throw that in there. Or half a stick of butter. Toss that in there, let that melt down. So I'm just gonna add this in here like this. Add our chicken chunks, and then we're gonna season it. I've already washed it. Add it in there like that. And with some black pepper, some roasted garlic herb seasoning, some garlic powder, a little basil, a lot of basil, <laughs> little onion powder. some Cajun seasoning. And I'm going to mix this together like this and let this chicken cook down until it's almost done. Then we're going to add our mixed vegetables. Okay. Alright guys, so I got these mixed vegetables here. I think this was like 79 cent a bag. Babe, was it 79 cent or 89? Like a they were like a dollar a bag. So anyway, I got two of these. I do have some other corn and veggies in the cabinet if I feel like it's not going to be enough. But for right now, I'm going to use two bags of these. Um, the chicken is almost done. So um, we're going to pour these in there and then I'm going to continue on. Alright, so that's what we're working with right now. Then we're going to throw the mixed veggies in there. Both bags. Get those tossed in there. And mixed in there. Just going to mix it up. Get those frozen veggies all mixed. And by the way guys, the chicken is smelling awesome. Have you guys ever had homemade pot pies before? Okay, we get that. We're just gonna add that in there like that. Okay, 
Then, I'm Paula Dean with the butter. I'm gonna take a little butter and throw in there too. Mix that up. And then we're gonna go in with our secret, gonna go in with our secret ingredient, the heavy whipping cream. This is what's gonna make everything so yummy and creamy. This is what's gonna make it a pot pie. We're just going to get this all mixed in. Look at all of that. That looks good. Get all of that all mixed in there really good. And then we're going to cook it on low. Until it's nice and tender. Add a little more cream in there. Add a little more cream and a dash of flour. Or you can use cornstarch. I'm going to use flour. And then add a little splash of flour in there. Boom. On low, cover it. And so this is done. This is the finished product. Now we're going to make our little mini pot pies. That looks great. All right, guys. So I have these little rolls of pie crust. I have some flour that I put on the counter. I'm going to unroll it like this. Just like this. And then we're going to take our bowl and lay that in the middle like that and cut us out a pie circle, just like that. Once we cut that out, we're gonna do another one. Just wanna roll it out like this. another pie circle. There we go. And so we have our two little pies. Alright, so I'm just buttering up this pan. Getting it all nice and buttered up. I'm going to do a, a couple mini ones. So I have my pie filling. I'm just going to take it Try not to get a whole ton of juice in there. Get us some good chicken and some good veggies. Okay, we don't want it to be too runny. And then you're gonna take your little top layer, get it, and pinch it closed. Just like that. And then Out. The second one. I'm gonna add some more in there like that. This one is a little thicker, so I'm gonna add a little more chicken in there. Then I'm gonna lay it over the top just like that. And then just kind of repeat, pinch it close, pinch it close. Make sure you seal it all the way. Seal it all the way so none of your good juices and stuff come out. None of your good pie filling. And just to be fancy, I'm going to take a little fork and go around it. and seal it and then we want to poke a little hole in there poke poke give it a couple pokes okay all right okay and i just got a little butter and i'm gonna rub over the top rub a little butter on the top over here and around the edges 
And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay guys, so I am back. Guys, today we are having homemade mini chicken pot pies. And if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you take the time to like this video and subscribe. Guys, I have new vids dropping every single week. So make sure you take the time to support me by subscribing. And on that note, guys, um, I hope all is well. I am just ready to get right into it. I'm almost at 2,700 subscribers. I'm really, really excited. Can't wait to hit that 3K. That is the goal. So I hope you guys are doing well. It's really late today. Um, I actually have been so busy this weekend. Um, yesterday was Serenity's birthday, so we did go out to go and see Black Panther. Well, look at me saying Black Panther. I still wanted to be Black Panther, Wakanda forever. But I went to go see Wakanda forever yesterday, and it was really awesome. It was like, it really had me tearing up. It was a really great movie. Um, my daughter enjoyed herself. She is a true Black Panther fan. Like the couple years ago, she had the Black Panther cake and a party and a shirt. And so this year we kind of did the same. She had a cake and, you know, we went to see the movie. It seems to come out around her birthday. Anyways, um, so I was like, I have to get in here and get this movie. Um, let me get this movie. <laughs> I was like, I have to get in here and do this vid, okay? It's technically still a movie, but I have to get in here and get this vid done. But my baby girl turned nine um, on Saturday, and whew, that's a touching moment there. But anyways, I'm not going to do too much talking. Again, it's late. I actually should be in bed right now, but I was not about to play, okay? We need the vids. We need the subscribers, so let's get on to it. So I got the mini chicken pot pie. You guys have been with me the whole time when I made it. So um, I'm just ready to get right into it. I'm kind of talking because they were hot. I got them out of the oven. And this one, ooh, it, this one kind of broke apart a little bit. But, oh, I'm going to get in there. That looks a yum yum. Yummy yum yum. Ooh, it's really hot. Mm. Mm. It's so hot.
Mm -hmm. I'm so flaky. Mm. Bank with Popeye, who? Oh. Mm.
rubbing the butter on top it made it almost taste like a real lobster biscuit this was good <coughs> oh excuse me guys again it's really late i'm not gonna stay so i hope you guys enjoyed this vid guys i have a new vid dropping this week so make sure that you stay tuned <coughs> oh, excuse me and support me by subscribing if you're watching this vid make sure you take the time to support me by subscribing appreciate it guys and thank you so much for being the best part of KMB cooking and eating and until next vid